You are listening to a special edition Place to Be Nation Pop Blast. PTVN Comics looks at the DC Universe streaming service. Place to Be Nation. This is a special comics pod blast review of the newly launched DC Universe app. My name is Russell Sellers. I am, of course, one of the Sarcastic Four on the Marvel Age podcast, as well as your host of the DC Post-Crisis Management Show. Uh, This is going to be the first of what hopefully will be a regular segment here on Place to Be Nation Comics, where we take a look at a piece of comic book media, uh, be it the books themselves or just anything that catches our eye, and we give you our quickie little thoughts on it, be it uh, one of us or two of us. Uh, you never know what may happen. But anyway, this is our first time out with this, so uh, hopefully it'll be informative and give you a, uh, a clearer picture of something that's available to you in the mass media market. Uh, Now, of course, this PodBlast review is of the DC Universe app. Uh, We've had the service for a couple of weeks now, and there's plenty here to like and not. It's certainly ambitious in its offerings, uh, having both video and digital comics content. That's unlike anything uh, that's being offered by the distinguished competition over at Marvel, who only offers the comic side of things through the uh, uh, Webby award-winning Marvel Unlimited app, which is also uh, a tremendous investment uh, for any comics fan out there. Now, though the selections of both the uh, video and digital comics content are a bit limited at the moment on the DC Universe app, uh, still, in just the short amount of time the service has been up, it's been continuously updated with new content and unfortunately losing some too. But there are plenty of highlights and that makes the service worth a look. First, uh, the part most comics fans are curious about, the selection and the digital reader. The selection is a curated list, sure, but it does have some real gems. Currently, the entire death, reign, and return of Superman is organized in a neat ordered list right on the home page. Uh, if you've never read this, that is a true classic DC epic. And that it's all organized in such a, a way should make it very easy uh, for fans to check that out. You can also find uh, the first appearances of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and the Justice League of America, along with some of their earliest stories. So, you know, these classics from the uh, Golden and Silver Age are right there for you to check out and uh, you know you can get a little history on where these characters came from it's it's pretty good for that uh, but the best part for longtime fans will be checking out series that maybe you slept on initially uh, series like the Mark Wade and Humberto Ramos impulse which stars uh, Bart Allen all 36 issues are collected here There's also the short but absolutely great Peter Tomasi Nightwing and the Chris Yost and eventually Fabian Nicieza Red Robin series, which immediately followed the death of Batman in Final Crisis. Not to mention the large selection of James Robinson's Starman run, uh, the complete Jeff Johns Stars and Stripe, and the underrated Flash Fastest Man Alive. But there are also some amazing story arcs. that are a little bit more well-known, such as Batman Under the Hood, uh, which can be found in the pages of Batman, and the Jeff Johns and Gary Frank classic Superman Brainiac story that can be found in Action Comics. The digital reader isn't too bad either. In fact, its smooth, guided reading function and HD quality put it above the Marvel Unlimited reader uh, for me. But this curated, rotating list of comics is not what fans hoped for. We've already lost both Batman Year 1 and 2 to the rotation scheduling. Hopefully DC listens to fans in the community section of the app about expanding rather than rotating. It only makes sense to use that model rather than giving small tastes here and there. Now, on to the movies and TV side, things get a little bit more concrete. You've got HD uploads of the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher Batman films, along with the first two Christopher Nolan Dark Knight movies, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Or, if Superman is more your forte, all four Christopher Reeve films 
are on the app in HD. The bigger selection, though, is in animated movies. Surprisingly, the app has some very recent films already available, such as 2018's Batman Gotham by Gaslight and The Death of Superman. But there are some real hidden gems in, here, in there, too. Green Lantern Emerald Knights might be the best intro to the character and the concepts ever put to film. Uh, DC Showcase, Superman Shazam, The Return of Black Adam has a solid main feature, but the short films attached to it are the real show. Stay tuned after the main feature, for, especially for the Spectre and Jonah Hex. Both of those are absolutely tremendous. And don't sleep on the 2009 animated Wonder Woman film. I would actually put this right up there with the live-action Gal Gadot film, uh, including a third act that some people might actually like better. But there are also other great things to check out, like Batman the Animated Series tie-in films, Mask of the Phantasm, and Mystery of the Batwoman. Mask is probably the best interpretation of the Dark Knight ever put to screen, and that and gives the uh, animated series version of the character's origin that you won't actually find on the TV show. Uh, and speaking of which, the three best seasons of Batman the Animated Series are all featured here in full HD transfer, and that's never been done anywhere. It's easy to get sucked into an impromptu marathon once you hit play. Trust me, I've already been down that rabbit hole a couple of times now. Uh, and... I don't think anything else needs to really be said about how great Batman the Animated Series is. Uh, it's, it's absolutely tremendous. But, while that's the case, the criminally underrated Superman the Animated Series from the same creative team is also available on the app in its entirety. As are Static Shock, Batman Beyond, and the standard bearer of DC Animation, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. But what about original content? The app doesn't really feature much of that yet. Uh, there's DC Daily, a five-day-a-week look at the news and notes from DC Comics each day, and a panel at the end that usually has a fun discussion about some things you can find on the app, you know, classic comics, TV shows, and things of that nature. All of that's fun. Uh, you've also got DC Universe Presents, which uh, features celebrity DC fans and current and former DC show actors introducing popular comic stories and films. Uh, it would be nice if those were actually attached to the movies and comic stories that they're introing rather than just sitting as their own features, but uh, but they're still fun to watch. Of course, we're still waiting for the original series like uh, Titans, Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing, and the animated Harley Quinn series, all of which are decidedly not for kids, uh, but uh, more on that in later reviews. But what is for kids and adults is the tremendous... Young Justice animated series. The show's two seasons are on the app right now, and a third is coming very soon. If it's popular enough, and I think you know the fans are pretty dedicated to this one since they uh, are responsible for reviving the show, could be seeing a fourth as well. So uh, that's a pretty big thing to look forward to. You've also got uh, fun classic family dramas like the 1990 Flash series uh, starring John Wesley Shipp, who currently plays... Funnily enough, Jay Garrick on the CW Flash series. Uh, you've got the 1970s Wonder Woman starring Linda Carter. Everybody needs to check that out. Uh, you've also got the hilariously campy but still pretty fun Superboy, uh, Superboy live action show from uh, the 1980s. But the crown jewel has to be Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Not so new anymore, but you get the point. Uh, I would say to this day, Lane Smith remains the best version of Perry White that's ever been. And don't skip checking out the exclusive shop for some cool looking stuff that collectors might really be into. There's a t-shirt line that's pretty cool and a Batman the Animated Series coffee mug that has a neat thermal effect. Uh, all of that's worth checking out, even if uh, some of the stuff in the shop is a little overpriced, I think. Still, uh, since they are exclusive only to the shop, maybe you'll you'll... Uh, find something there that you'll want uh, to wind up coming home with or getting sent to your house, as it were. Now, there are a few negatives. The navigation has improved since the app launched, but there's still some bugs in the system. You'll notice menu navigation isn't really all that great on Roku or likely Apple TV. I'm using a Roku, and uh, I'm also using the uh, a Samsung Galaxy S6 and a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A uh, for the app. And I can say that the uh, the apps or the app on the phone and on the tablet 
uh, works very smooth, is not really all that buggy, and doesn't really seem to have uh, quite as many hang-ups as the Roku version. Uh, but this is true across uh, all three platforms that I've used it on. Sometimes you won't be able to just go back a single page, but you have to start menus from their very beginning. That can be a little annoying. Uh, and for a while there, some shows and comics would cause the app to crash, though that seems to be somewhat cleared up. I haven't had that happen in a while. So maybe they've got that bug worked out at least. Uh, one show that was causing the, uh, the app to crash, no matter what device I was using it on, was a uh, human target. And that would be a, a damn shame if you guys weren't able to check that show out. Trust me, it's one of the best action series you'll ever see. Uh, there's also the bare bones organization of the comics. While they are grouped by series, it would be nice to have them also grouped by creator or better yet, by story arcs, as some stories such as The Death of Superman take place across multiple books. Uh, reading on the tablet has been great. Uh, though unlike Marvel Unlimited, you're forced to download each issue before you're able to read it. That's not so bad so long as you have enough hard drive space available, but a streaming option would be nice. It's also kind of annoying that the first two Nolan Batman films were uploaded, but they left off Dark Knight Rises. Eh, maybe it's a minor nitpick, but it, it still bugs me that you got half the trilogy. You got like two thirds of the trilogy there. Um, the Roku app also lacks a menu navigation, unlike the Android and uh, Apple versions. Uh, searching is the only way to look through the deeper catalog, and that often means you have to know what you're looking for. Uh, this is probably the most aggravating thing about the service so far and should be updated immediately. Uh, we need better menu navigation for uh, the Roku and likely for Apple TV. Uh, I haven't really bothered with the TV comics reader or the automated version that turns pages for you, but I hear it's not as jarring an experience as it sounds. Uh, personally, I'm sticking with the old-fashioned swiping. Good God, we I just referred to swiping as old-fashioned. The price point on the app that's not too bad. Uh, the better deal is to pay the 75 a year. That also gets you some free months, uh, so long as that deal is still in place at the time you're listening to this. There's also a $7.99 a month rate, but given the amount of updates they've already had and are likely to have going forward, sticking with it a year really is the better idea. It's going to wind up being the better deal. Overall, this is a good start for the DC Universe service, uh, but it could and should be so much more. There are positive signs it's moving in that direction, but as with all things, this is a wait and see. I personally give this, uh, this app a solid 3.5 out of 5. Go check out the DC Universe app. You can download it from dcuniverse.com or you can go to uh, the uh, Apple Play Store or the, uh, or excuse me, the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. And with that, that brings our first comics pod blast review to a close if you want more content like this make sure you go to uh, place to be check out all the great podcasts that are there from the comics feed to the pop feed to the uh, wrestling sports everything that you could ever possibly want and also give the place to be nation comics twitter a follow at ptbn comics thanks for listening and we'll see you next time